gonna fly this 4th of July, especially with this workout that's gonna fire up your muscles, challenge your strength, plus it's a lot of fun and it's a quick workout that you can fit in at any time. Now, the workout only contains four exercises and you will be challenged by changing the tempo. Now, Mark's gonna demonstrate these four exercises. The first tempo will be at a regular pace. You'll do 10 reps. The second movement is at a very, very slow pace for only eight reps. And then the third tempo will be pulses to burn it out for 20 reps. Once you've done that whole big set, you'll move on to the next exercise and perform it in the same manner. You'll do it all the way through, only the four exercises. You'll challenge yourself with one plank, and then you have the option to repeat it again if you'd like. Now let's demonstrate these exercises so that you know what to do. Now before you get started, make sure that you adjust the incline to your strength level. We're gonna have it at a high level so that we really challenge ourselves and make sure that you have the pull-up bars attached. All right, so Mark's gonna lie in a prone position as he presses the leg up the rails, he grabs the handrails at the top, crosses his ankles so that they don't hit at the bottom, and he's just gonna go and perform 10 regular pull-ups. Now as he's doing this, proper form, you wanna make sure that you are squeezing through the back, the upper back, middle back, lower back, you want to make sure that you're really engaging. You can also lift your chest up a little bit so that you can feel that whole body engagement. Now, once he gets to the 10 reps, he'll slow down the tempo, really super slow. So now let's just go super slow as we pull up for a four count move. He'll hold it at the top and then slowly release it down. So it's an up one, a two, a three, hold, and then slowly come back down. That's even too fast or too slow. I'll bring it up and two and three, and four, and then slowly, two, three, four. Now you'll keep going through this movement for eight reps, super slow. And once you're done with those eight reps, we're gonna go up and pulse it for 20. So we press it up, and we do tiny little pulses here at the top, and little ones up and up. Now as he's squeezing at the top, you wanna make sure that you're squeezing in through the lats. Again, the upper back, the middle back, the lower back, your core is engaged up the entire time. And once you're done with those 20 reps, You'll take it all the way down, release yourself from the blank board, and we'll move on to the next exercise. The second exercise is a lateral lunge. So make sure you remove the pull-up bars, lower your incline down to a low level, and you'll stand at the bottom to get started. One foot is at the bottom base, the other is on the blank board, you'll open up to start. Now you only bend the leg you're standing on, press the hips all the way back, and you'll extend and keeping that leg straight. So regular tempo, he's down and up. 10 reps of those, making sure that you're pressing the weight through the heel, Keep your spine nice and long, your chest is lifted at all times, and once you're done with those tempo reps, you'll go into those super slow four count down, slow, slow, slow hold, and slow, 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 and come back up. You'll notice going slow is not so easy because that's even a count that you have to have in your head as you go down as well as back up. So really slow down that tempo. If you think you're going slow, I want you to go even slower. Once you get to your eight reps of the super slow, you'll stay at the bottom and you'll do the pulses. As low as you can, press your hips back so that you can really feel the glute engaging. You'll feel the inner thighs and stretches, but make sure that you have all the weight shifted onto the leg that you're standing on. Once you're done with those reps, make sure that you change and do the same exact thing on the other side. Our third exercise is a chest press. So make sure that you increase your incline to your strength level, connect your cables, have a seat at the very top of your glide board, and let's get ready to work those chest muscles. All right, so he's going into that regular tempo, you know the drill, out and in, he's keeping his spine long, his core is engaged, your legs can be either bent, they can be straight, they can straddle, whatever works for you. Once you get to your 10 reps, I want you to slow down that pace, that is slow, super, super, duper slow, for chest press movements and counting four counts out, four counts back. And now you notice, as you start to go through this, you the tendency is you want to go fast, but try to keep it as slow as possible. Maybe even watch a timer so that you keep on those four counts out and four counts back. Once you go to your eight reps, we'll go right into the pulses. So right from here, he brings it out halfway range of motion into tiny little pulses. You wanna make sure that you are filling the chest, you'll fill your shoulders, your biceps, as well as your core. Go to 20 reps on this, and then we'll move on to the final exercise. Now our final exercise is going to be a crunch with a lat raise. So same position, supine, he'll lay down onto his back, cables in the hand, 
Again, you can adjust your incline as necessary. Feet are on the glide board. He raises his arms out to the side, brings them down towards his hips and crunches up when the arms come down. So you have regular tempo here. Now, if you want to increase this and give it a little bit more core work here, you can lift the knees up, but I suggest keeping them tight to the, the belly so that you can really keep everything compact and your back stays safe. After you've done your tempo reps, you know the drill. <laughs> Super slow counts up and then slowly back hold. Four counts up and then you release it back. Now you're gonna really start to feel this and if you feel any pressure into your lower back, you know, you can always lower the legs, you can lower your incline. The goal here is to change the tempo, change how the muscles are contracting, keeping them fired up at all times. Once you've gone to your eight reps, you're going to hold it up there and do your pulses. So the arms stay up. Pulses don't have to be necessarily fast. Pulses are just shorter ranges of motion at a quicker tempo. So you want to make sure that you're really feeling your abdominals. Make sure that you feel that your shoulders are working. Once, you, once you've completed your pulses, go ahead and roll your body up. Take a breather, quick stretch, but you're not done. We have a bonus round. All right, just for the fourth of it, we're going to plank it out for approximately one to two minutes. You're going to hold a plank in whatever position you'd like. Now, right now, Mark is doing an incline plank. I lower down the incline. He is keeping the glide board open, which really makes the core work more, working that stability in his shoulders. But you can also do this on the floor. You can go down to a forearm position. And you can also turn your body around to face the other way and do a decline position. So wherever you feel that your body needs to work, just make sure that you are working on your plank. You're keeping your core engaged. You're not sagging through the back. You're keeping everything up in the middle. And once you've hit your one to two minutes of holding that plank, you can stretch, release it back, and then you have that chance to go ahead and repeat the entire circuit again, as many rounds as you'd like. Now that completes the fired up circuit for the fourth of it. <laughs> you guys enjoy, celebrate, work your muscles, challenge yourself, and always train hard. Okay.